Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The House Spouse. I'm Neil, your host, and for those of you that have watched this channel for a while, you're going to see a little bit of a change in formatting, hopefully, if I can remember. So, today's episode is going to be cooking with your grandma. Uh, this particular recipe isn't specifically from one of my grandmothers, however, it was part of my Grandma Bertha's recipe collection, and both grandmothers had quite a collection, so uh, I was a little bit happy when I pulled one out. And it was something I could use. Uh, a lot of the recipes are very difficult to make because they have something that somebody in my family is allergic to. So let me get to that real quick. Uh, myself, I am allergic to nuts, poultry, and gourds. My son is allergic to milk and nuts. My daughter is allergic to nuts. My wife is allergic to nothing. So it is always very difficult to actually make a meal that everybody can eat. In this particular recipe, I am omitting one ingredient just because I know that's really going to gross everybody out. And it is also a recipe that my son will not be able to eat because it absolutely has dairy in it. So let's get started. Today we're going to make not tuna casserole, but tuna fish mulligan for Jenny Grafton. Tuna fish mulligan in the Methodist Yellow Cookbook by Mrs. Dan Grafton and Mrs. Charles Grafton. I have no idea who those people are. You need one five ounce package of noodles cooked and drained. I'm actually going to use a full pound. One six and a half or seven ounce can of tuna fish. I'm actually going to use two five ounce cans because when I drain them, they're only four ounces, so eight ounces, it's close to seven. One medium can of peas. I'm actually going to use frozen peas because I don't really like the idea of eating canned peas. That's just gross. Three hard-boiled eggs diced. That's the ingredient that I'm omitting because I know whenever my wife or daughter sees the little chunks of egg, they're gonna go, ew, gross, I don't wanna eat it. So I'm gonna skip that. I did think about maybe slicing them and putting them on top, but still, Neither one of them really like hard-boiled eggs, so I'm going to skip that. One green pepper, diced. I'm also going to skip that. I actually forgot to get that ingredient. Three-quarter cups grated cheese. Two tablespoons of butter. Ironically, we call this the William Safe butter because my son can eat it, so it's non-dairy, but Anyway, uh, two tablespoons of flour, got that over here. Two cups of milk, because we're almost a dairy-free house, we don't really buy milk very much, so I just got a little single serving of milk, and actually it's two servings, but it is uh, two cups. The directions say to make the white sauce Sorry, make a white sauce of the butter, flour, and milk. So I'm gonna do that in the pot. Add cheese to hot white sauce, stir until melted, done. Add other ingredients. So before that, I'm gonna to have to make my noodles. And then I'm gonna add everything and pour in greased casserole and top with cracker crumbs. So I'm gonna mix it all together, put it into my casserole dish, and I'm going to use Ritz, crush some of them up, and use that as my topping. 
bake 30 to 40 minutes in 350 degree oven, serve six to eight. I know for a fact, two out of three people that are gonna eat this are gonna pick out the peas. They wouldn't eat it at all if it had the hard boiled eggs and they would pick out the green peppers if they were even in there. So there you go, let's get started. everybody I put all the ingredients together I'm gonna to put it in the oven later I'll let you know how um, everybody thinks it tastes one big mistake I made was I tried to put too much into the casserole dish I either needed less ingredients or a bigger casserole dish but I crammed it in there we'll see how it goes in the oven I may actually stick a tray under it just in case it boils over a little bit Outside of that, everything looks good. And now, unfortunately, I have to take care of the dishes. So, let's see if I can do a magical transition into the dishes being done and... All right, they're all done. <clears throat> Thanks again for watching another episode of Cooking With Your Grandmas. I hope you like the recipe. I hope I like the recipe. And uh, I'm gonna leave you with one last thing. Like I said at the beginning, I'm changing the format a little bit. We'll see if it works out and we'll see if I remember on the next video. I'm gonna leave you with a dad joke because you know, let's end on a positive, right? Uh, maybe a couple of groans. The chemical composition of water is H2O, right? H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O, get it? H-2-O, bad dad joke, I know. Not mine, but I like it. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.